everyone, this is Jack. Well, in this video, I'm going to cover five tips to grow lots of peppers. And I'm going to cover both sweet peppers and hot peppers. So let's get started. Tip number one, when to start peppers. Now, sweet peppers take about 90 days, about three months to start producing. However, most hot peppers take 150 days. That's about five months of growth to start producing peppers. Well, this means if you start your peppers in March or April, you won't get any peppers until July or August, which is already towards the end of summer. So to produce peppers earlier in summer, you must start your pepper plants indoors or in a greenhouse, either in January or the first week of February, depending on the zone you're in. And you can plant your peppers outside after the danger of frost is over, which is after the last frost date. You can grow your pepper plants from seed or you can buy them from a nursery. Now, I made a video about vegetables that you should never buy from a nursery because they are way too easy to grow from seed so you can grow them yourself. However, in that video, I mentioned that tomatoes and peppers are an exception. So, if you want to get a head start, you can always buy plants that are already grown, that already have about a month or two of growth on them. You can buy them from a nursery and plant them in your garden after the last frost date. Now, another thing you can do is actually overwinter your pepper plants. You can dig up your pepper plants in fall and keep them indoors or in a greenhouse and they will survive all the way through winter and you can replant all the pepper plants in spring after the danger of frost is over. Let me show you some of the plants I have. These are all the pepper plants that I dug out in fall and I'm keeping them in my greenhouse to overwinter so I can get a head start with growing peppers in spring. And some of these are already producing peppers while in a greenhouse all the way through winter. Well, let's check out these peppers. It doesn't get this good. You can save your pepper plants and also keep enjoying peppers all throughout the winter. So I'm in zone nine and I start my peppers in January and I overwintered the peppers that I just showed you. So I start getting peppers in April and May. This plant is just loaded with chilies. Look at these chilies. These chilies are amazing. Tip number two, peppers love cow manure and chicken manure. So if you add a lot of cow manure and chicken manure into your garden, along with some compost, your pepper plants will do wonders and you'll get beautiful peppers. Now, this is not true for all plants. You cannot add a lot of fertilizers to every single plant, especially tomatoes. So if you over fertilize your tomatoes, your tomatoes will produce a lot of foliage, but no tomatoes. I made a video on mistakes to avoid while growing tomatoes. So check that out if you're interested. I usually make my own compost and I have a video on making your own hot compost as well. And we are also buying compost because I'm using a lot more compost than I actually can make. My garden contains a gallon of compost and half a gallon of manure for every single pepper plant. Tip number three, location. And location is very essential in growing peppers because peppers love full sun. They enjoy sunlight. The only exception to that rule is bell peppers. You can grow bell peppers in partial shade and I made a separate video on vegetables you can grow in shade as well. And actually bell peppers enjoy being in shade because if you put them in full sun, you can get sunburn spots on your bell pepper plants as well. So keep them in shade or at least in partial shade. However, all other peppers need full sun and at least eight hours of sunlight. But if you can provide them 12 hours of sunlight, your pepper plants will do wonders. Also, when planting peppers, the plant spacing in between the plants should be 18 to 24 inches and the row spacing should be 30 to 36 inches. Tip number four, watering. Peppers love moist soil, so make sure your soil is moist at all times while growing peppers. Now, the amount of water you give to your plants depends on many other conditions, such as your temperature, the sort of type of soil you have, and a lot of other conditions. So I made a separate video on how often you should be watering your plants. And if you follow that guide, you can easily keep your soil moist while growing peppers. Tip number five, which is my favorite tip, harvest often. Don't let your peppers ripen on the plant. Do not let them turn red because once the peppers ripen on the plant, the plant thinks it's already producing seed it has fulfilled the purpose of its life and it has no need to create any more fruit. They will not make more flowers and no flowers means no more fruit. So pick often. You can pick peppers at any growing stage. I also made a video on how you can increase your harvest 10 times using some techniques and this is one of the techniques. So if you keep picking often, you can trick your plants into producing a lot more fruit and a lot more peppers because the plant wants to produce seed for the next generation. And if you keep picking it, it will keep producing more and more fruit in order to produce the seed. So if you follow these five tips, you can grow lots of peppers. Look at all of these peppers with all of these varieties. And all of these are grown with these just simple five tips. 
You can also prune your pepper plants. In my experience, pruning pepper plants does not directly yield more peppers. However, it does help to keep your pepper plants healthy. To prune pepper plants, remove any leaves that are closer to the ground or touching the ground. This will decrease any fungal disease in pepper plants. However, if you keep proper plant spacing and row spacing between your peppers and have adequate airflow, peppers are no maintenance plants. Now, peppers usually don't have pest problems. Pests really don't like peppers. But if you happen to get aphids, white flies, or other pests, you can use neem oil and pure castile soap. You can use one tablespoon of neem oil to one tablespoon of pure castile soap, mix it in one gallon of water, which is about 3.7 liters of water, and spray your pepper plants and get rid of all the bugs. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I keep my videos right to the point so I can give you all the information in a very short amount of time without taking any more of your time. And I have nothing more to add. So I'll see you in another video.